As we all know, fingerprints have been used for personal identification in a lot of different applications. Our aim is to give an infant an identity using fingerprints. This will help in their well-being as well as to maintain the vital statistics. It can be used, for example, to track vaccination schedules of infants. We are looking to answer some fundamental questions in this research. These questions are, what is the youngest age at which one can capture fingerprints of an infant to be useful for successful recognition? What is the sensing technology which is needed to capture fingerprints? And do the ridge and valley patterns present on an infant finger change over time? And are these patterns unique? So we are using a custom fingerprint reader designed by NEC. This is a special CMOS reader, which is very compact. The thickness of the reader is only eight millimeters. It is specially crafted with tapered edges. It has a functional design to help reduce the inconvenience to infants while capturing their fingerprints. High resolution of 1270 PPI helps to capture the minute details present on an infant finger. There is a button which is specially crafted at the bottom of the reader, which is useful in capturing the image manually. Hi, Hi. so I'm going to capture the fingerprint using this reader okay. and I will slide this reader mm -hmm. between the thumb and the finger of the infant okay. just like this and you will be able to see the image the fingerprint image on the screen we have a good quality print right up there and then we'll just click the button and we can capture the image let's say there is a six hour old infant how do we know who he is using the reader we have started a data collection effort in India so for the first phase we went in September 2015 so we collected data at a hospital using the reader. We captured data from 66 infants. We demonstrated that we can capture a print of a six hour old infant using the reader. This is an image of the fingerprint of the six hour old infant. You can clearly see the ridges and valleys. You can see that we have marked the ridges and valleys on this image. The ridges are the black lines you can see and the valleys are the white portions in between the ridges. At such a high resolution of 1270 pixels per inch, you can even see the pores the sweat pores which are present between the ridges. After capturing the print, the next question is how do we match these prints? So the first step is to extract useful features from the prints. So given a print, we can enhance the print first using a special enhancement technique we have developed and then extract features. The enhancement, which is a special technique developed, benefits in reducing the spurious features which can be extracted from a print. So now we have more accurate feature representation of the print. So we can use such a process to actually identify an infant. So given an infant comes in the first day, we can capture the print and store it in the database. The next day the infant comes back, we can again do the same process, capture the print. We can run the enhancement methods both on the stored image as well as on the captured image on the second day and then extract features and match the two prints to identify the infant. So in this way, we can give an identity to an infant. And this is something which has not been done so far. The general consensus still is that it's impossible to use fingerprints to identify infants. Therefore, we are trying to actually come up with a method to dispel this notion and to prove that indeed we can use fingerprints for identifying infants.